Hello and welcome to Phantom Forces Weapon Spotlight, a series where I give a more subdued and informative look on the weapons of Phantom Forces. In this episode, I'll be covering the MC-51. The MC-51 is a carbine unlocked at rank 86. It deals 46 damage up to 20 studs and falls up to 25 damage by 121 studs. It fires at 600 RPM with a 1.1x body multiplier and a 1.4x head multiplier. The muzzle velocity is 2000 studs per second, and the penetration depth is 1.5 studs. Here is a shot secure table. It has about medium to high recoil, and it holds 20 rounds in a magazine, with 120 rounds in reserve, of 7.62 by 51 NATO rounds. The reload speed is 2.4 seconds, and the empty reload speed is 3 seconds. It has a 14 walk speed and a pretty fast 17 aim speed. The MC-51 is a slow fire rate but high power carbine. Ironically, the MC-51 also does more damage than like actual battle rifles, despite being quite light and mobile. It's also one of the few automatics in the game that can two-shot kill to the body, which is a very sought-after quality in an automatic rifle. However, in the MC-51's case, it's not really a thing that you know happens in practical use. If you check the math on my shots to kill table earlier, the 2 shot kill body shot range is only about 22 studs. That's like, basically a little over the length of an in-game car. So it's really close range, couple that with the relatively slow 600 RPM fire rate, close range play is rewarding but it is quite risky. You are much better off sticking to medium range for a more consistent and safer approach. Going for headshots is also a pretty good idea since you got some damage on you and some range as well, but you need to be able to manage that recoil. In terms of grips to you know help manage the recoil, the best option you have is probably the pistol grip since the MC-51 has a lot of transitional and rotational kick. There are also other unique attachments that can help with the recoil, but I'll get into that in a second. Overall though, I'd say the MC-51 is versatile enough to really just fit any map on any game mode. It's a very solid weapon all around. I'd also like to quickly mention a hollow point on this weapon in particular. It can extend your two-shot body shot range by like 10 studs, but whether that's worth it or not really depends on the map, since at long range it does drop your damage to a 5-shot body shot. On smaller and indoor maps though, I'd say go for it. It definitely helps with your close range performance. I'd say the MC-51 is an A tier weapon for sure. Probably even high A tier. It's got great damage, great range, and good attachment choices. The only really bad thing about it is the recoil. The integral suppressor and long barrel give your gun zero radar reveal range and also increases your range in general at the cost of some fire rate, while muzzle velocity, walk speed, and aim speed all have different stats depending on the barrel. I grouped both of these barrel attachments together because they basically do the same thing with ever so slightly different stats. Since these both integrally suppress the MC-51, they are perfect for flanking, as you will never show up on the radar. They do reduce your fire rate to 540, but I don't think it's that big of a reduction. Plus, it helps with your recoil as well, so uh, yeah. You can honestly just run this all the time if you want. They help with, you know, a lot. They're basically a must-have if you like to flank, and they also help with range, so they're perfect for larger maps. The Integral Suppressor, in particular, is also just completely free. As a final note, the range boost here does stack with hollow point, and in combination, you get uh, about 50 studs worth of 2 shot body shot range, so you can keep that in mind. Extend stock reduces your recoil at the cost of mobility. This stock attachment in the other slot is also basically a must have, in my opinion. It cuts down the max rotational kick pretty much in half and also I think a lot of the transitional kick is reduced as well. This results in just an overall better shot grouping and a way better side picture when you're firing in full auto. Since this attachment 
uh, just basically single-handedly addresses a large part of the MC-51's weakness, you don't really have a reason not to run it unless you're going for a hipfire build or something. Yeah. And that concludes this episode of Phantom Forces Weapon Spotlight. If you enjoyed this video, please leave a like and subscribe to the channel as it helps a lot. Thank you for watching and see you next time.